about uh, the hurricane about to hit Florida and how it will have an impact here in Kentucky. Hurricane Helene is currently a Category 2 storm, and it's expected to strengthen further, reaching Category 3 or maybe even 4 before it makes landfall in the United States. Due to increasing severity of the storm, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and now even Virginia have all declared states of emergency. The impacts of this storm should be taken seriously, and I encourage everyone in Kentucky uh, to be weather aware of what we're going to see in the coming days. As of now, we expect the remnants of the hurricane to begin affecting Kentucky this evening and especially into Friday, uh, but rain may continue all the way through Sunday and accumulate in various places. It will bring heavy rains, very strong winds, the potential for severe storms, especially across eastern and southern regions of the state. But let me just say where um, the hurricane is going to make landfall has even changed over the past, say, 12 hours where in Florida. And there are different models where it could impact more central Kentucky or more western Kentucky. So we need to be weather aware and watching uh, our local news, uh, looking at social media. Emergency management will continue to uh, push out forecasts, uh, certainly over the next 48 hours. In these conditions, having access to reliable information is critical. I encourage everyone to have a weather radio on hand. They are essential tools for staying informed, particularly during power outages or when cell service is disrupted. As we prepare for heavy rains, it's important to remember the dangers of flooding. Just six inches of fast moving water can knock over an adult. 12 inches can carry away most vehicles. If you encounter a flooded road, turn around. It's not worth it. Wherever you're trying to get to is absolutely not worth it. We care about you. We've lost too many people in flooding and tornadoes to a pandemic, to, to senseless acts of violence. We don't want to lose one more Kentuckian. We want to prevent every single one of those injuries or harm. And we don't want to have to send brave first responders, many of which we have in this room today for some awards that are coming up. Uh, out into harm's way if we don't need to. So it's always that turn around, wait it out, uh, make sure you don't cross a flooded roadway. For those living in low-lying or flood-prone areas, please take extra precautions. Have an emergency plan in place and ensure you know the safest routes to higher ground. Our search and rescue team stand by ready to respond should the situation escalate. Uh, I have not declared a state of emergency and right now the forecast um, uh, doesn't necessitate it, but we will be watching uh, very closely and we'll be willing to take additional steps uh, should we need to.